Hey guys, it's Kenya and welcome back to my channel. I am here with a hair video. It has been so long since I've done a hair video, like literally so long. I don't even remember the last time to be honest, but I'm here and I'm going to show you guys how I take down my twist out. I already have a video as far as how I twist my hair, the products I use, all of that stuff. So this is more so how I take it down and get the volume that I want and kind of style it. So if you're interested, just keep watching. So as you can see, my twists are very old and they're not bouncing back like that. They're frizzy. I look crazy. I've had these twists in since Sunday morning. I washed my hair and twisted it. I already have a video on me actually twisting my hair and I think later on in the video I ended up speeding it up through the takedown process. Um, so this video is strictly me just taking down my twist. Nothing really changed as far as how I do my twist um, compared to that video from back then and now. Uh, not even the products. I'm pretty sure I still use the same products to wash my hair. I use the As I Am Co-Wash um, and then I use the Organics Coconut Milk um, Conditioner. And if my hair is really dirty, I'll use the shampoo as well. Um, I don't think I use the shampoo this time around, but that's pretty much what I do. I didn't deep condition. I kind of suck when it comes to deep conditioning my hair because I don't have the patience for that. Uh, so yeah. So this is all I'm going to do. Okay, so the important thing is you don't want your hands to be too dry because it's gonna add a lot of frizz to your hair. I personally don't really care about frizz in my twist out just because I feel like it looks better the older it looks. Um, but my hair is very, very dry right now. So what I'm using is the shea butter I got from Beauty Supply Store. Um, I'm just gonna put a little bit in my hand for now. So as you can see, I have like a ton of flyaways. My edges look a little dry. So I kind of smooth them down a little bit. So I'm gonna get the back. The back of my hair is really crazy because I also have this bad habit of not wrapping my hair at night or when I'm just chilling, laying in bed. In the past few days, I've just been home um, in bed without my scarf or anything. I have a satin pillowcase, but I don't always lay on just that pillow, so. Okay. And I don't always use shea butter, this is like a disclaimer. I typically use any hair oil, whatever that I can find my hands on. Um, I don't use anything that's going to be too wet though, just because if I do that, where it touches will revert my hair into like the naturally curliness of it versus the twist out curl. So I don't want it to look too crazy, but I just want it to be hydrated, smooth down, and then yeah. All right, so what I do next is I'm going to take all my twists. I don't know exactly how many there are, and there are, there are different sizes as well. So I take all my twists, I put them in a little pointo. Sorry if you hear a helicopter. There's like an army helicopter that keeps flying around for like the past couple of hours, it seems like. Or I'm not sure if it's an army helicopter, but when I went outside to look, it, it was shaped like one. We don't even have an army base around here, so I don't really know what's going on. I'm just gonna mind my business. Okay, so I'm taking more shea butter, smoothing it into my hands so it's oily. And then I'm just going to take a twist at a time. And then I'm just gonna run my hands over it. Also, the shea butter kind of helps to tangle it just because I've had these twists in for so long that the flyaways and the frizziness kind of tangle into each other at times. So just run my hands over it. This kind of helps loosen it up. Not completely, because you're gonna see my hair gets snagged a couple times. So I untwist it. I probably shouldn't have worn a black shirt so you can see better, but I'm so sorry. 
Um, and then I separate it a little bit. I'm gonna separate it more, but I just separate it a little bit. And I just keep taking the next one. See, and I'm very, when I do my toes, unorganized. So there's pieces that are like probably not even in the section and the twist, it's just a mess. And also it's important to take your time just because if you do come in contact with parts of your hair that snag or that are twisted, you don't wanna rip them out. Um, and also the thing is, my trick with doing twist outs is I'll take them out the day before I actually want to wear the style. Unless I want it super, super defined. Um, just because for me, day two hair seems to look a lot better. So I'm going literally nowhere today. I'm, after this, I'm probably gonna take a couple pictures um, and get back to my bed and continue to binge watch Euphoria. And as the ponytail gets smaller, I kind of gotta make sure I tighten it. And by leaving my hair in a ponytail, it helps me keep track of my twists. Because before, I would take down, I will leave my hair down and just start unraveling. And then I'll find that there's a twist that I didn't um, do, just hidden in my fro. See like here, it's just tangled and you just wanna take your time. I say this as I have the urge to just rip it apart. But the benefits of doing two strand twists that I've found is that I retain length more because my hair is in a very low manipulative style. It's not just in a puff where it's tangling with itself. It's still detangled, it's twisted, it's protected. Um, so it's not getting jacked up or ripped out on the daily. It still holds some hydration at least. Especially in the colder seasons, my hair tends to get extremely dry. And I started doing two strand twists after I wash my hair all the time now. I did kind of start uh, doing, uh, diffusing my hair if I want to do like a wash and go or if it's like the day of class or day of I guess go somewhere and my hair is looking crazy I'll diffuse it but nine times out of ten after I wash my hair I'll do a two strand twist and I found that my hair has grown so much since doing this also the products that I use while twisting at least this time is I used the curls blueberry bliss line so I used the leave-in conditioner first uh, then I combed it through with my denim brush and then I used the styler um, and then the Curls Blue Blueberry, I can't talk, and the Curls Blueberry Bliss hair gel. There's a new hair mousse that I've been seeing on TikTok, the dough I want to say. Someone suggested that I use that instead of gel. Um, and like I said, I've seen it on TikTok. And I guess it's only sold at Target. And I went to Target so many times the past couple days. And it's out of stock. Or it's not even out of stock. It's just not there. Um, I Because on the app, it said that's there. I asked an employee. And she's like, it should be here. We got like the shipment in in January of it. She went to the back, couldn't find it, or at least I think she looked for it in the back. I don't really know. Um, and yeah, I want to try that. I might just order it from like their website or something. If it's not in Target, but it would be very convenient if it was just in Target. So hopefully by the time I style my hair again, it will be in stock release on the shelves. My hair does not look as defined as it normally does with my twist outs, but it's probably because I've been going to the gym. I even had to retwist it the other day because it was just a hot mess. Okay. So like in the front, you see these aren't as defined, which makes sense because I had it up and it was just pulled 
versus being curly but that is okay because I'm going to show you a trick that kind of contradicts what I stated earlier in this video but it's okay so now I'm just kind of going through and feeling for any bigger chunks because I really like volume to my hair I think it looks better it's more of an attention grabber than just flat boring hair so also another reason why I kind of hate my hair straight because it gets flat or it looks very flat and I have a big old head I'm just going in feeling for big chunks and separating I'm gonna shake out my roots are kind of already shaken out that's more so the front of my hair that needs a little help I'm gonna take some more of this shea butter rub it in get it nice and warm my camera the frizziness doesn't look that bad but I'm really live in this mirror just gonna rub this over the crown of my head One second, I need to go get some more supplies. So I have this hair pick. I have another hair pick idea if what I just recorded has recorded. So this is gonna be real stressful for the end. But my other comb, the comb teeth um, are thicker and shorter. And I really like this one because the teeth are longer and my hair is getting longer. Um, and I feel like it just works better. So longer teeth, longer, skinnier teeth are the best for my hair at least all right so like i said i like volume so i'm just gonna pick out the roots and also i'm literally going to pick at my curls i'm not raking it through i'm just kind of bothering them i don't know how else to describe it but so now because as you can see let me move closer you see how this is kind of wavy and then like my edges are not doing what it's supposed to be doing. With this being wavy, I don't care. Because tomorrow, I'll probably switch this back anyway. Or something. I don't know. I'm going to style the front a certain way. Or I can just put it by my ear. Whatever. Um, but I'm going to add some hydration. So it looks a little better. So once again, Curls Blueberry Bliss. It's not gonna focus. But Curls Blueberry Bliss Leave-In Conditioner. My favorite leave-in conditioner. Um, and I am just going to put this right here. And like I said, this contradicts what I said before about me not wanting two different curl patterns. <laughs> but this isn't curling, so we're gonna do what we gotta do. All right. And like I said, even though I'm going nowhere, I'm gonna take pictures. So I'm going to do my edges. I'm gonna actually do my edges off camera because even though I'm not actually talking to a legit person, you guys are just watching a recording that happened in the past, um, I get nervous. Some people watch me do things I'm not good at, such as my edges. So I'm gonna cut that part out. But this is what I'm using. I'm using Edge Booster, Style Factory Edge Booster. And I got my little edge brush. But okay, thanks for watching. That is the end of this video. So please like this video, comments. Let me know if you want me to do more hair videos. Let me know which type of videos are your favorite. Do you like vlogs more? Do you like hair videos more? There's not really that many of you that watch my videos anyway, but the few of you that do, let me know. Uh, so I'll see you guys next time. Bye. I am cute. Like, I am gorgeous. Like, who would want to be with me? Like, I know I'm a little bit crazy, but... Who wouldn't want to be with me? Big five.